prépare pour le neck PC. Le neck PC, dans le fond, c'est un test physique qu'on se prépare pour savoir si on a les aptitudes à pouvoir aller faire l'expédition internationale. Today, I'm Isaac Silker, and it's currently day five of our expedition, and it's been a, a lot of fun. It's our It was our last day of hiking, and I've really enjoyed the, the whole experience that we've had. There's just so many different sights to see, and it's all so different every, every day. It was so different each place that you went to. I mean, I've never, I don't think I would have ever seen it in my life if uh, I wasn't here and um, it was it's just so breathtaking the views that you see and and the friends that you meet is and the stuff you talk about it's it's uncomparable to the rest of your life and it's always something that you'll take and treasure and carry with you for the rest of your life Hey, um, it's day two of kayaking, and I'm Heather Gillespie, and I'm Leandre Hamilton, and uh, today, um, after lunch, we flipped, um, trying to get across uh, some current into another eddy. Um, how was yeah, it? Yeah, uh, it was a good time. Um, <laughs> that's a lie. Uh, <laughs> it was really, really cold, like really, really cold for like five seconds, and then it kind of warmed up because wetsuits... But uh, yeah, it was a good, it was it was pretty fun, like it was shocking, it got you like, really got my head back in the game, really focused me again, you know, like don't drown and all that. And yeah, we came out of the water, we sat down, it was uh, really fun, everyone was like really supportive, it wasn't, wasn't that scary, so it was, it was good, it was a good wake up call. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Um, if you're going to kayak, make sure you get your edging right, and uh, you shouldn't flip like we did today. Yeah, yeah. So. Make sure you're really paying attention to everything you're doing. Yeah. And uh, make sure you really listen close to the difference between paddle and pedal. Yeah. Because those can change things. It's raining. It is. Hi everyone, it's left hand Megan McNeil here. It's March 16th. It's been about two and a half weeks since we said goodbye to each other on the international expedition. And uh, I'm back to work, I'm back uh, to school, and I'm back to reality. And I've had some time to think about what the exhibition means for me moving forward with the cadet program. And a lot of people don't know this, but at the time that I applied for the expedition, I was going through a pretty big rut, and I had become very disenchanted with the cadet program. And I kind of forgot why I was working with cadets, and my heart just wasn't in it anymore. And... Um, I had decided that I was going to leave the CIC and that I was done. And I had already made plans for what I was going to do with all my free time that I would suddenly have and my summers off. And um, then I found out I got accepted on the international expedition. And even still, I thought, this will be a good send off. This will be a good goodbye. I'll feel finished. Um, and now, after the expedition's over, I feel anything but finished. And it's not because of Chile, and it's not because of hiking, it's not because of kayaking. 
it's because of the cadets and the feedback that they gave in the debriefs and the compassion that they showed for each other when their teammates were struggling. I saw the full effect of the cadet program and it was incredible. You know, it wasn't Patagonia, it was Bernie La Rose singing songs every single day, even when it was raining, to her team to motivate them. And it was how Hamilton talked about his grandmother in our debriefs. You know, I got to talk to them about what they want to do after high school and I am so excited to hear about their success and to find out who they become. And I'm so excited to find out if Matthew Spulak finally gets that internship with the CEO that we met on the trail. And I think if I had done the same expedition in Canada with the same group of cadets, I still would be feeling this way because I didn't need to go to Chile to be re-motivated. I just needed to meet these cadets. I needed to have a conversation with them to hear about their successes in the cadet program, to hear about who they are as people and these incredible leaders that have come out of the program. I needed to be reminded of that. And so I want to say thank you to their leaders, to their officers, to their parents, and to them for everything and for reminding me why we work with cadets and yeah, I'm excited to see what happens in the future. So thank you.